Yep, I got it. My goodness, he's only 10 feet of distance. This is ridiculous tailgating, I'll tell you. 10 feet away. Along the way, of course, there's always west areas that we stop to. This just happens to be one of them. Middle Spunk Lake Rest Area. Kind of a weird name in a way. Pay phones, or I think that's a pay phone. Don't look like one. But they used to be... Yeah. There's a sign skater around giving various details on things. Some gorgeous scenery around here. This is a nice one. Vending machines, those are nothing new. And of course, the main park itself. And here's the main area itself, or at least the uh, grassy fields, the park area, and a uh, lake in the background there. Kind of wavy because the wind's up there a lot, if you can hear that. A lot of trees all around it. Of course, being April 1, you wouldn't expect much going on at the lake. But Minnesota's known for its lakes. It's even a pathway here. It was walk around, get some exercise if you wanted. And not many uh, rest areas seem to have that. But here's a close up of that. On the return trip to North Dakota, well, uh, we're just about to enter North Dakota, finally. Here's the Red River, and that's the marking point for the boundary. Which means about halfway across, here would be in North Dakota. There's the sign right there. Hey, now we're in North Dakota. Which means my Minnesota maps are no longer any good at the moment. So that means I gotta dig out my North Dakota maps again. And I gotta find the location. Gotta go way to the mass. And here it is. Exit 351 had just passed. There's an arch there. Yep, one thing I like doing when I'm on the road, watching scenery zipping by and keeping an eye on positions and stuff, keeping status updates. Mostly on location though. Markers 351 right there. Which means we're now, since we're going in reverse, that means exit 350. The numbers are actually decreasing. Exits 349 AB. Usually the exits are on the right, so that means Ma needs to get on the right side of the road. Because she needs to go get gas for the vehicle. After all, the fuel gauge is a little on the low side. Look for a 349A. Should be really close. I think you need to get over another lane yet. And let's see. That's 349B. Nope, you don't want that one. 
It's A and B because there's more than one exit in the mile 349 range. B is the second one closest to 350. So here's 349A coming up anyway. And here's exit 349. And wouldn't you know it's a roundabout. Huh, okay, interesting. Where's that gas station at that was advertised? There's an ad on the sign saying gas for 355 instead of the 369, 372. So should be around here somewhere. Keep an eye out, that's all I can do. Watch it, Ma. That's it, right straight ahead there. Facing south means I'm basically facing toward the sun, almost toward the sun. The sun's actually at the south southwest right now. I use the sun as a compass. If I simply know the time of day, I can use the sun as a compass. Of course, you also have latitude to consider as well. Yep, there it is, the gas prices.